Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. Today it's a quick and simple card with the Dragonfly uh, Garden. And also I'm going to use the Garden Wishes for the little flight pattern here. So this is a great way to use a stamp set that it's kind of a detailed stamp set that you don't want to color. Uh, many say, oh, I'm afraid coloring and it takes long for some and so on. Well, this technique here, it's not the first time I share it. It is very simple and fun. So let me start with, I'm using just one of the case, uh, the clear case here. And that's the one that I'm using. I'm keeping my chamois in. I just removed the chamois. And this is just a BB wipe. Um, I don't even know. Regular BB wipes here. Parent choice. Here we go. And if you see, you get the print in it. A lot of time I say try to get some BB wipe. Or um, you can use a paper towel also without a pattern. Well, this year look lovely. I'm using the uh, H block for my background and I'm just going to put it there because it's no use to cover the whole thing because I'm going to try to print it about the same spot. So we're going to use um, Pierre Pizzazz, Coastal Cabana and this one is so saffron. This year I did Daffodil and I want to crank it up down a notch, not crank it up going down a notch and you see I did all these here and I could have done more but um, I somebody came at the house I had stopped so that was just with one of the baby wipe and one time ink you can re-ink but I'm going to share with you before you re-ink you can save on it uh, with just spritz some water so I'm going to go here and I'm going to put my, um, this is Coastal at the top. Now I'm going to go with So Saffron. Keep a space a little bit between because you know this is going to touch together after you stamp a few times. So you don't want too much overlap. Uh, if I overlap yellow and bluish, going to come kind of a weird green. And here, yellow and green really kind of do it, a, a blue too. Here we go, my, um, at the bottom. And even at the bottom, if it's zigzag, that's perfect. You want to give some character. So now that I got covered that, and I should have said, this is just a paper, uh, not paper towel, but the BB wipe I just fold in two. I like to use my piercer form, piercer, piece, blah, blah, blah. My phone, the one that uh, they used to sell for the pe poking the holes in, that we still sell it for um, stamp with photopolymer or this technique, it's perfect. I'm going to do two of them just because I get two different sizes here. This here measure three and three quarter by five. This one measure four by five and a quarter. So this one we're going to have a layer, this one no layer. Now I want to make sure I'm in the, the view here. I'm just going to ink this and then I'm going to align this right here on the side. Voila! You get some character and that is perfect. Now let's go with the next one. You want to try to go at the same direction. It's going to mix a bit, but not that much. And see, boom. I could keep on going and going, okay? Well, when you see that you don't get much of the ink, I recommend our spritzer. And the reason why I recommend those one, it's because it's just a little miss. It's not like big chunk of water. And then I would just, see, miss it and keep on going. I'm going to save this because I'm doing a bunch of them for thank you cards. So I'm going to keep on going after the video. But that's how I keep on the ink reactive when it can get kind of no more color. And I keep on going. 
if you notice by the end, see, it's lighter compared to the beginning, but it's still plenty of colors. When you see that really you, you don't have enough color, you don't have to use another paper towel. Use the, uh, I mean, baby wipe. Use the same one and add more ink. Now we're going to take this. Now I don't need my foam in the back because it's a uh, red rubber. You're going to notice that when you touch that, it's kind of rough. It's just the water with the paper. It make it rough. It's kind of cool. I'm using Pretty Peacock. Oops, sorry. I'm using a memento black that is for the flower. I'm just going to ink this. When you do a lot of stamping, you can leave this upside down like this, so then you don't have to open and close, open and close. Now I'm going to stamp that here. I recommend that really you let it dry before you would stamp. Boom. See, you get some color without coloring. This is super quick and I personally love this look. Love it, love it. Now I'm going to do the other one. Voila. Now for the dragonfly, like I said, I'm doing a bunch of them. I use two inch strip. And we're going to stamp the dragonfly with Pretty Peacock. So we're doing two, so I'm going to come ahead and do two of them. And then I use the Wink of Stella. And the darker the color is, the more that it's going to mix the color. And if you do it right away, like i done right now, um, you, it's going to mix the color more. If you wait, um, let it dry completely, then you won't have that much of the color on your wing. So it depends what you like. So now, let me bring that closer so you can see, boom, I didn't have to stamp. While I get you here, though, I might as well get the stamp out of, because we get a stamp to color the wings. Many people um, send me um, concern about the wings that were not matching. They are made that way. They are made just like a wash in the back. So let's do one. So you see you just get one set of the wings. And let me, we're going to do one more. So let me stamp this again. And I'm going to use... Um, what should I use? Let me use Seaside Spray for the wings. So I'm going to bring my Seaside Spray here. And I'm going to smack that right there. See it off. And that's what it's made for. It's just to add a bit of color, but it's not designed to be right the match of it. See? So you do not have a defective stamp set. That's the way that it is. Now it coordinates with the uh, dragonfly, the duet uh, dragonfly. It's not a stamp that matched this little one. So that would be for an accent. You can stamp, uh, punch it in any color cardstock and put that like for a little accent. Now I'm going to cut this out here. I could have went a little bit shorter than two inch. I thought two inch was easy to uh, cut strip on the long way. Now I'm going to punch this one and we're going to punch this one and we're going to finish the two cards and you're going to see how simple it is. It have to be simple cards and when I say simple, Simple don't mean that it's ugly. Put it that way. It's still very lovely card. It's just that sometimes you need stamp on the go, right? Or when you need a bunch. Now, we're going to stamp the greeting. And the greeting, I use Pretty Peacock. And I'm going to stamp that right on the bottom here. Voila. And then over here. Voila. So, if you're wondering, well, what happened to this one here? Well, I dropped my stamp. So I just used the, one of the punch. I used the everyday label punch. 
and I restamp my greeting and put it here. That's it. Now for the flights, the uh, flight pattern, that I used the Coastal Cabana. I didn't use the same color than the, the Dragonfly. I feel it's lighter, right? So one's going to be there, one's going to be there, and then I can do my flight. There. And then I'm going to put my flight there. So now we're going to assemble this. Like I said, it's very simple, but I think it's very nice. So the bigger one, it's white on white. I love clean and simple at times. So um, you're going to say, why not stamping directly on, on the card? I still like to have sometimes a layer white on white. The one that I did, I used dimensional. This time I want to try very simple, not even putting dimensional here, because we're going to put the dimensional in the back of the dragonfly. So it's just give a kind of a little border around. I like that. So it all depends on you. You can, if you stamp directly on your card base, I recommend that you use the thick Whisper White. The reason it's the light, sometimes it's going to go right through. I'm going to put that right here at my flight pattern. Okay, voila. And then this one here, I'm going to mount that on Pretty Peacock. The other one, it's mounted on a Coastal Cabana. Now we're going to be able to compare the difference there. And I'm going to be honest, I ran out of Coastal Cabana. So I'm, I was thinking, mm, I want to finish those thank you cards. I'm like, I'm going to try Pretty Peacock because that is the color of my greeting and the color of that I stamped my dragonfly. So it should go perfect. We're going to put that here. Right like this. And then we're going to do the dragonfly. And inside, I was debating, am I stamping the flower at the corner? Or am I going to stamp the dragonfly? I'm going to twist this a bit here. Here we go. So now you see, this is with Pretty Peacock. And this is a layer directly on top. This is a layer with, it's mounted on um, with dimensional. And here it's Coastal Cabana. Now for the inside, let me, um, I'm just going to take my dragonfly and just put it right at the bottom here. Even if you go off, it's perfectly fine. So it's just carry inside uh, the something that go with the outside, right? So that is it, my friend, to do very quick and simple card. It's not every card that needs to be what I call a 10-pound, 20-pound cards. I think that uh, even simple, it's very elegant. That is it for now. Till next time, happy stamping. And right below, don't forget, you get the direct link to come to my blog. It's going to list all measurement, color that I use, and all the supplies. And all in the U.S. can shop 24-7. Thank you for su your support. Till next time, happy stamping.